Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the first week of September 2021. Businessman Greg Leakes died September 1, 2021 of colon cancer at the age of 66. He was best known for appearing on Real Housewives of Atlanta as the husband of one of the show's stars, Nene Leakes. He is being remembered for sharing his cancer fight with the show's viewers. Blues singer and pianist Carol Fran died September 1, 2021, at the age of 87. She was best known for her music of the 1950s and 60s, including singles such as Emmett Lee and The Great Pretender. She is being remembered as a beloved fixture of Louisiana blues. NFL player Keith McCants died September 2, 2021, in St. Petersburg, Florida, at the age of 53. A college football standout at the University of Alabama, he was chosen in the first round of the 1990 NFL Draft by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. McCants is also being remembered for his years with the Houston Oilers and Arizona Cardinals. Pro wrestler Daphne Unger died September 1, 2021, at the age of 46. She was known as the Scream Queen as she wrestled for the WCW, Shimmer, and more. She is being remembered for her unique persona in the ring, including her goth style and her piercing battle cry. Astronomer Carolyn Shoemaker died August 13, 2021, at a hospital in Flagstaff, Arizona, at the age of 92. Although she didn't have any scientific training, she set a record in 1994 for discovering 32 comets, more than anyone else at that time. Shoemaker is being remembered as the co-discoverer of Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 in 1993, just a year before it collided with the planet Jupiter. NFL player David Patton died September 2, 2021, in Columbia, South Carolina. He died after a motorcycle accident at the age of 47. He won three Super Bowls while playing for the New England Patriots in the early 2000s. Patton is also being remembered for his time playing for the Cleveland Browns, Washington Redskins, and New Orleans Saints. TV personality Willard Scott died September 4, 2021, at his farm in Della Plaine, Virginia. He died after a brief illness at the age of 87. He was the longtime weatherman for the Today Show, where he delighted viewers by wishing a happy birthday to centenarians. He is also being remembered as the first actor to play McDonald's iconic clown mascot, Ronald McDonald. Scott was a U.S. Navy veteran who served in the 1950s. Actor Michael K. Williams died September 6, 2021, at his home in Brooklyn, New York, at the age of 54. He was best known for his performance on The Wire, playing stick-up man Omar Little. Williams is also being remembered for notable roles in Boardwalk Empire, Lovecraft Country, and many other TV shows and movies. Singer Sarah Harding died September 5, 2021, of breast cancer at the age of 39. She was a member of Girls Aloud, a British girl group who dominated the UK pop charts in the 2000s. Harding is also being remembered as an actress and a reality TV personality who won Celebrity Big Brother in 2017. Screenwriter and producer Irma Kalish died September 3, 2021 in Woodland Hills, California. She died of complications of pneumonia at the age of 96. 
She was one of the first women working behind the scenes in television, as she wrote for classic sitcoms including All in the Family and Good Times. Kalish is remembered for co-writing a groundbreaking episode of Maud, the first primetime TV show to have its characters struggle over the question of abortion. Zookeeper Eric Cowie died September 3rd, 2021, in New York City at the age of 52. He worked at the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park, made famous in the Netflix series Tiger King. Cowie is being remembered for testifying against Joe Exotic regarding allegations of animal abuse at the park. Actor Michael Constantine died August 31, 2021, at his home in Reading, Pennsylvania. He died of natural causes at the age of 94. He was a star of My Big Fat Greek Wedding, playing Tula's dad, who thought Windex was a cure for any ailment. Constantine is also being remembered for playing Principal Seymour Kaufman on the TV show Room 222, a role that earned him an Emmy Award. Singer Carl Bean died September 7, 2021, at a hospice center in Los Angeles. He died after a lengthy illness at the age of 77. He was best known for his 1977 dance club hit, I Was Born This Way. It was an early LGBTQ anthem that later inspired Lady Gaga's hit song, Born This Way. Bean is also being remembered as a minister and AIDS activist, who founded the Unity Fellowship of Christ Church in South Los Angeles, as well as the Minority AIDS Project. Businesswoman Yolanda Fernandez de Cofino died September 6, 2021, in Guatemala City at the age of 87. She was the creator of the Happy Meal, an innovation she made not long after she bought the first McDonald's franchise in Guatemala. She is also being remembered as the first to have the idea of holding children's parties at McDonald's. On August 31st, five U.S. Navy sailors were killed in a helicopter crash in the Pacific Ocean near San Diego. Their names were released this week. They are Naval Air Crewman 2nd Class James P. Buryak Hospital Corpsman 2nd Class Sarah F. Burns Lieutenant Bradley A. Foster Lieutenant Paul R. Fridley and Hospital Corpsman 3rd Class Bailey J. Tucker Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags all across the United States will be lowered on September 11th in honor of those who lost their lives on September 11, 2001. To view more in-depth September 11th tributes, visit Legacy.com and watch our video on YouTube, 9-11, 20 Years of Grief and Healing. Flags in Alabama have been lowered to honor the memory of former state senator Jack Floyd. Flags in South Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of former state representative Lucille Simmons Whipper. Flags in Kansas have been lowered to honor the memory of Overland Park police officer Freddie Castro. Flags in Florida have been lowered to honor the memory of Circuit Judge Stephen C. Henderson. Flags in Connecticut have been lowered to honor the memory of State Police Sergeant Brian Mole. Flags in Oregon have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Forest Service contract firefighter Frumencio Ruiz Carapia. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of Fire Police Captain Laren Holcomb of the Ellsworth Volunteer Fire Department. 
flags in New Jersey have been lowered to honor the memory of those who died in Tropical Storm Ida. Flags in Texas have been lowered to honor the memory of Gonzales County Sheriff Robert Inklin. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. One year ago this week, Avengers and Game of Thrones actress Diana Rigg died at the age of 82. Fifteen years ago this week, conservationist and crocodile hunter Steve Irwin died at the age of 44. Twenty-five years ago this week, bluegrass music pioneer Bill Monroe died at the age of 84. Thirty years ago this week, country singer Dottie West died at the age of 58. Freddie Mercury, lead singer for Queen, was born 75 years ago this week. He died in 1991 at the age of 45. Soul singer and songwriter Otis Redding was born 80 years ago this week. He died in 1967 at the age of 26. And rock and roll pioneer Buddy Holly was born 85 years ago this week. He died in 1959 at the age of 22. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.